welcome back to keeping up with China today we're back with another video so you guys see I got my lashes on today trying to look presentable semi presentable for you guys because I know I've been looking crazy for my videos cuz I be tired but I'm back um if you're new welcome please subscribe and if you're not welcome back to another lovely video um yeah so today um i literally i came from work around eight o'clock and i'm just like should i um film a video and i just went back and forth back and forth and i'm like should i so here i am after long let me see it's been it's been let me see, over 13 hours after a long 13 hours of work I'm here making a video for you guys so um, yeah so today's video I'm gonna be talking about um, how my first day slash my slash first week of being on the floor working as a nurse on the floor has been um, so far I am still with my preceptor I will be with my preceptor for about six well yeah six to eight months I lied not eight months I lied six to eight weeks um, and I, uh, we just started week one so um, yeah last week was just um, was just orientation where like you know they go over how to work the computer systems and um, the, the different things that we need to know has like as new hires and stuff and new nurses so um, yeah so I started my I started my first day on the floor like you know um, the, the 12 hour shifts on let me see on Tuesday I started and then and then I had like um, other other classes and stuff that I had to do throughout the, the week for my residency program um, um, during the during Monday and Wednesday and I was off Thursday and then t t today is Friday and I worked so yeah so I'm just gonna go a little bit over of um, what my day was like and what I learned what I didn't learn or well I'll just tell you guys a little overview of uh, my day so I mean so far I like it so far um, I can definitely say I am getting my money's worth and I am getting the workout like because my floor is a very big floor it's a it, it's one of the biggest floor in the hospital that I work so like it's really big and you literally have some well sometimes you do have patient from from you know the first door to like the last door so you would have to walk the long you know hallway like the hallway is long yeah like I've never seen a hallway that long in my life and sometimes you you have to walk to, to go get supplies and all that stuff and that's just like wow like I'm really getting a workout like so, so after that like I don't even have to go to the gym because I literally had had my um my whole cardio and all that stuff in one day but um yeah so my first day it went pretty um pretty well I did a lot my preceptor is very nice um she allowed me to do a lot of um, things um well at, at the same time um, she allowed me to watch her do uh, do certain things like for example um, new admissions and stuff like that because I um, because I have because I um, I am going to work nighttime but they start me off days because so I can learn you know the whole routine um, like how to admit new patients and how to dis um, discharge and all that stuff so for, for the first four weeks I'm going to be you know during um doing the day shift um yeah so the day shift and then then after the six to eight weeks i believe i'll be doing night shift which is actually a good you know which is actually good so i can learn you know what day day people do and then what night people do and um 
yeah I mean they just told me that night is a little bit easier because you know you don't have to deal with the um, family and all the crazy things that goes on throughout the day which I don't know if, that, if that's a good thing or a bad thing that, because um, especially for me I like being up and you know walking and doing things because or, like it makes the time go by faster so if I'm just sitting there just charting or just you know like I might just fall asleep so I mean I don't know how nights nice are going to, to be for me so um, we'll see but yeah the, the floor is pretty it's pretty um, nice um, it is a um, surgical telemetry floor so it's kind of like a med surge floor so you be like you get to learn a lot like you you get to learn a lot of things like um, foley's and um, how to put in IVs um, like a lot like the list is goes on and on like they they told us if 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 we can get through this floor we can actually we can succeed and you know like in in any of the uh, um in 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 any floors that we we, we um, go to after that we'll be able to be fine because because that floor is like it's it's a lot of work it's a lot of you know it's a lot but you know at the end of the day you know it gets you prepared for you know like for example if you you, you want to go to to er after that then you know you'll be good or if you, you want to go to the uh, um the icu or whatever after that then you'll, you'll be a little um well you'll be like pre pre prepared of the you know the pace and all that stuff and uh, the, the things that you know you sh should know and all that stuff um, yeah, like, you know, we're just learning, well, I'm just learning day by day. I mean, um, I've only had two, two shifts so far, and I can tell you, like, I learned a lot, like, I learned so much, like, I was just like, wow, like, I feel like I'm starting to, like, to get the hang of things, like, I'm starting to, you know, pick up on certain little things and stuff like that, which I'm really happy about, and I've, and, and, and I've gotten so many positive feedback from my presenters, the my managers, and also the the um, the patients saying that I'm doing a really good job, which really you know boosts your um, your confidence a little bit. You know, knowing that you know as a new grad, you really don't know nothing. You don't know shit. You know, so you're trying to like you know just do 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 your best and learn the. Um, the mo the most that you, you you can while you you have someone who's you know helping you and who's there you know you know um throughout the, the whole process so because you know after you know six to eight weeks i'm by myself and i'm gonna have to do all this by myself so i am making sure that i am you know getting all my um my questions answered and you know doing the best that i can really um yeah, like I mean, I did a lot. I um, I did admissions already. I did discharge. Um, I did um, like I did a lot, yeah. Like um, I'm starting to do this this IV class um, in two weeks, where like I, I just go to the ER and just put in IVs for like four hours straight. So I think that's a great way to actually um, help us to learn how to put in IVs and stuff like that and just practice you um that because I, I mean I've I've only placed like probably two IVs in my whole nursing school days like I you know so I didn't really get that much practice so I think that would be a good experience um but yeah like I mean there's a lot more that I can go on and on about but but like I said it's it's been a good experience I've been tired like I've been literally tired to my ass like i be tired my feet be like killing me but you know it's it's worth it you know like my feet hurts but you know it's part of the job and you know and i will get used to it as you know the time goes by and stuff like that so so yeah like but so far so good um after a year they said that we can um because the hospital that that i work for they really encourage that you know you 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 go to a floor that you really 
want to and like you know that like you know so that um you you you, you don't feel like you know going to work 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 is like a burden or like you you hate you know, your, your, your job so they really encourage and help you to um to get to, to where you 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 want to go i mean for right now my goal is to try to go to mother and baby or or, or the NICU unit that, that they have at, at the hospital um i'm not sure yet really exactly but um i don't know if i'm gonna change my mind after a year i don't know like, like a year is a, is a long time so i don't know if i'll stick to like um med surge or like the other population or maybe after a year i'll be like nah i don't want to you know stay here i'll probably switch to like you know baby and you know mother and baby or, or the NICU and stuff like that so i don't know we'll see where you know this whole experience takes me um I re i'm really grateful and th th thankful for the start of this journey i know it's gonna be a great one so um, i'm just excited to, i'm just excited to see where i will be and uh, one to no, one well six to one year well, six months to one year um and i mean so far my only problem i mean my only problem um right now is my anxiety of of knowing that i i would have to be speaking and communicating with, with my positions and stuff and because of my stutter you know like you know that makes me a little you know anxious because talking on the phone with people is like my number one fear so but i know i will get over it i know i will but for now that's probably the only thing that i feel like will be a, a huge problem it would be like trying to call my call my um physicians and and stuff like that like you know but it's something that i'll just have to just get over and just do so yeah but i mean other than that that's about it really everything's going good i will keep you guys updated with everything um i'll do more videos regarding nursing and you know um and well i'll try because you know right right now i have a little time not really but but i try to do as much videos as possible even though i'm tired as hell i still try to make the um the videos um but yeah if you guys have any questions comments let me know i'm sorry down below and if you, you guys have any suggestions to what else you guys want to see or or see me to talk about in this channel regarding stuttering or nursing because to be honest they're both a part of my life and they're they're both you know is me so i'm gonna be talking about them you know because they kind of go together really because i'm a nurse and i'm and i stutter so they're kind of you know the same well not, not not the same but they're intertwined in some way so yeah um thank you guys for watching see you next time bye